Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. So today I just wanted to show you a little project we just finished here. It's a Forerunner, fifth gen, super clean, white, TRD Pro. And in the back of here, the customer wanted something that um, was pretty much built into here, wasn't gonna be taken out anytime soon. He uh, removed his actually second row seats and his sliding tray. Um, so what I built was actually more so along the lines of the um, Forerunner dual drawer box that I normally build with a couple um, different customizations to it to help fit what he was kind of looking to do. So first things first, this is the custom drawer here. Um, we have locking slides on the two drawers. Obviously you can see one drawer is wider than the other. We had to build the box just a little bit uh, less wide than normal because he has a custom subwoofer in here if you can see that. So we just had to leave enough room around that subwoofer there. Added some cargo um, hooks here for him to strap down some of his things. Um, nice aluminum rail here so it doesn't bang up the wood when he's put stuff in. The classic little side cubby right there. This whole thing is actually bolted down to the actual um, Forerunner so it's not going anywhere. Um, there will be a couple screws up here. You can remove that to get to the fuel pump and stuff. I'll show you a little bit later. But um, first things first, <clears throat> I'll show you how these um, drawers work. So slide them out and as I said, locking drawers. They're not going anywhere. So on this side, he wanted to have one of these um, coffee table style hinge uh, systems because he thought it'd be also really nice. Instead of having the false tops, you can just have this hinge up and um, it gives you a second workspace when you're getting to anything you need to down here. Um, there's a divider in there as well. So that can just fold back down like this and you can just slide the whole drawer back in super easy comes back up. So I do like these things a lot. They are a little bit hard to install, but they actually do serve a pretty good purpose. All right, so coming along to this side here, another drawer. So this he wanted to have just for a stove. So let's pull this guy out, lock it into place. So this was a tricky little setup here. Um, I was trying to make this uh, coffee table hinge work over here as well, but it just wasn't working very well with how much room was needed for the stove and all things like that. So I came up with this little nifty idea where you pull out a little piece here on a drawer guide, flip this open, and now you have a place for the stove. So if you watch real quick, all I gotta do is take the stove out of here, set it up on here, and now you have somewhere that's not super high like the coffee table would be. Um, so where you're boiling water way up here, it's actually lower. Um, and then you still have all kinds of access down here to whatever you're going to have in your compartments still. Um, once again, a uh, removable divider in case you want to put the stove in the back or uh, towards the front. Either way, whatever works for you or for him, I should say. I a little piece of uh, aluminum to the top here just in case this gets kind of hot and whatnot. So boom, you can pop your little stove open here. This is a stove I've seen a lot of... Uh, customers have actually um, so it works pretty well so that's the setup um, as I said these little tabletops create obviously a lot more table space um, than you normally have with a dual drawer system and then here as I said just kind of bolted this thing down into here nice and sturdy it's not going anywhere and he has all tons of storage here and here um, for other bits and pieces he's just gonna pretty much have a mattress on one side a couple of boxes and maybe his little cooler fridge setup so all in all, a pretty uh, clean build, came together really nice. I hope he's pretty stoked about it. He'll be here in a couple minutes. So I just wanted to show you something a little different than the last couple of four in a box I've been doing. And yeah, maybe gives you some ideas for your own box. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, any build inquiries, please email me. Don't just send a comment down below. Please email me for any build inquiries. It's a lot easier to manage that. Um, I do have plans in the description below to the basic forerunner dual drawer systems that i've been selling and um, building a lot of this one um is a little bit more complicated to set, do a set of plans for i will be coming out probably with a set of plans and a locking slides because some people have been pretty interested in that um just stay tuned watch my instagram and things like that and uh we'll see you guys next time